Cairo's downtown continues to add new businesses. The city is taking inspiration now from its neighbors. WLB News 10's Anthony Bordenero takes us behind the scenes as to what's coming up next. Well, downtown Cairo is continuing to grow, and today I got the behind the scenes view about what's going on in Georgia's hospitality city and what's coming up next. Um, so this is one of the buildings that was just purchased in the past two weeks by a business owner that we're very excited to have downtown. Downtown marketing director Ansley Lacey tells me the building you just saw will be a new Mexican restaurant within the next few months. Also across the street, First and Broad Pizza opened its doors a few months ago. With all of the buzz downtown, we're looking to add more parking spaces. So 30 new parking spaces have been added for the city that will help them with their downtown expansion and help with their summer concert and other festival plans. The old bank downtown was also recently sold. We're very excited to share that this this will be brought back to life. It has a lot of history behind these walls, so um, they have the current owner. Right now, there are three business spaces available, but those are selling quickly. Lacey tells me that there could be more business space available soon. Um, the goal is to expand that down to where our downtown development authority even has um, our territory. This is the expanded area that has opportunities for a rural tax credit. The so it's a large area. Uh, it has nothing but opportunity. There will also soon be opportunities for downtown apartments to turn into Airbnbs. Um, things to do for the entire family, more restaurants, and just people out. You know, the growth in downtown Bainbridge over the last five years is, is remarkable. Um, I really, I hope to see that here in downtown Cairo. Lacey says one of the special things about downtown Cairo is that most of the businesses are female owned and run. On 530, hear how some of those women are reflecting during Women's History Month. Anthony Bornaro, WALB, your hometown news source.